<laughs> Meat bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to another modded weapon guide here on Borderlands 2. Today we are back with an interesting weapon. It's a, uh, a half sniping, half meleeing weapon, um, which is pretty good for any zero users, uh, very advanced zero users, I will say, on overpower rate especially, because uh, I had a bit of a tough time with this. I had a lot of fun playing with it, but a bit of a tough time, uh, because this uh, weapon is called the Skewer, and it actually uh, has massive boosts into sniping capabilities, as well as melee capabilities so uh, anyone with a sniping zero will be amazing with this weapon anyone with a melee zero will also be very very good with it as well i've decided to try and get both uh, aspects of the weapon into one character so i've put some skills into both of the uh, the skill trees and it's kind of uh, you know half good and half not now with this so uh, again if you want to play uh, give yourself a challenge i do recommend using it like this um, but uh, if you want to stick to one or the other then this weapon will still benefit you in both ways so I will uh, start off as always by showing you guys exactly where to get this as always you can click on the link in the description which will take you straight there or you can navigate there yourself and have a look around uh, Exotech's section by clicking on Borderlands 2 mods and then heading down to Exotech which is right here in alphabetical order under E now there is a hell of a lot of weapons to look at today we're looking at sniper rifles click on uh, the skewer at the bottom right there and uh, then uh, head to the raw tab at the top right of the screen after looking at the information page and then uh, right click save as and save into your Borderlands 2 binaries folder remember what you saved it as come into the game and then execute it using the console commands like I said I do recommend looking through all of his sections because he's got loads and loads of choice on there um, so once that is done that will change the weapon of choice uh, which was the buffalo uh, into the skewer uh, now like I said this is hugely hugely heavy into sniping and melee you will see uh, on the weapons card in a minute uh, don't know why I just decided to trigger them sky hunters I will regret that in a second when they come after me uh, so yeah you can see the red text says shish kebab uh, it has 300% weapon damage 150% melee damage and 100% critical hit damage so you can use this for both like I said I have tried it on my melee character I've also tried it on my full sniping zero character absolutely fantastic on both I decided to try and give myself a little bit of challenge though today and uh, spec into both sections into one character and like I said it's uh, still pretty good it does a lot of damage but uh, definitely a lot harder to play with I did have quite a tough time actually uh, using this character to its full potential but it was a lot of fun so uh, anyone that wants a good challenge try doing what I did because uh, you know I'm using a sniper's relic with a melee uh, shield void shield and then you know a legendary ninja class mod uh, with more skills into sniping kind of thing maybe not be smart but like I said uh, it does kind of help with both aspects of the weapon um, rather than actually you know being a heavy sniper that can melee a little bit with this weapon so we're going to carry on the kills a little bit through uh, some shelf here nothing too strenuous today we're just going to kill some of these uh, bandits here and then go towards the bully one camp behind them uh, anyway like i said this will replace the buffalo uh, so you will need to get one of them before changing this um, buffalo is pretty easy to get hold of if not just get yourself one off gibbed and uh, put it straight on there uh, this will always spawn with a melee accessory so be sure to give the the one that's on the weapons information page on exotech section or just make sure that you've got one that fits the requirements otherwise as soon as you apply the check it will be removed by sanity check and you will lose your weapon uh, so make sure you go into that uh, and also like i said it's got 100 percent melee and critical hit damage on it nothing really more to tell you other than that so uh, this weapon hasn't been changed much, it's basically a buffalo with extra crit um, damage and also extra melee damage, which is pretty good really. So like I said, I did have a little bit of a tough time, uh, but I found the best way to play with this weapon, if you're going to spec into both, is to sit back. Uh, it's quite far, there is no scope on it, but if you can sit back quite far, it's very precise. Uh, I'd take a couple of shots at the head, get them down uh, as much as possible, and then just go in with uh, your melee side of things, go into uh, deception and then just take them all out. They'll be low health, many must fall, will kick in and you'll be able to go through them all uh, pretty well. Like I said as well, I am using an amp damage, um, sorry, a roid shield with this, um, so that does help as well when my shield does get stripped. 
uh, from sniping away that's when I usually go into deception and uh, take the rest of them out and it was a lot of fun like I said so I really do recommend trying this weapon if you do try it let me know what you think of it down in the comments below and uh, yeah hopefully you've enjoyed thank you guys for watching that was the skewer made by exotech thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one